Hello everyone! My name is Shiny, and welcome to today's video where I will be showcasing one of the blood demon arts inside this Minecraft Demon Slayer mod. So I'm pretty sure many of you already know by now, but this is the Demon Slayer mod made by this Japanese mod creator, also a YouTuber, known as Orca, who you can by the way check out in the description of this video. So, today we are going to be showcasing the Upper Moon 6, the main antagonist of the Season 2 Demon Slayer anime, known as Gyutaro. As you can see, we got his Chigamas, and you know he uses two Chigamas, so you know, we got that set up as well. And I, I believe someone uh, commented before her that uh, if you are holding two weapons at the same time, you actually deal more damage than only having one Chigama, so we can put that onto the test later as well. And yeah, I have also done a video on Uzi Tengen, so you can check that out. And I, in that video, I mentioned that uh, the Demon Slayer mod itself got a huge update in PvE and PvP where the slashes, the left clicks, are now no cooldown now, so you know, you can spam it. It's like basically pre 1.9 Minecraft if you guys ever played Minecraft like since then. It's like what, six, seven, seven years old now? Jeez, how long have I been playing Minecraft? Okay, so yeah, basically that's the thing. You can left click all you want. And also someone I think mentioned about this. So if you are holding S or I mean any key you have back and then if you jump, you do this like back dash now, so that's a new feature as well. But you do have cooldown, so just watch out for that. Uh, it should show up in like the top right or top left of the screen. But yeah, okay. So over here we got our test dummy, which is going to be Uzi Tengen because he is the basically, I mean, the co protagonist alongside Tanjiro in season two, you know, the main fight against Gyutaro. So I thought it would be fitting to have a. Uh, the sound breathing Hashira, uh, this is our testing dummy. And yeah, I mean, by the way, check this Gyutaro model out. We even got his like armor pieces, which you can get by killing Gyutaro himself in this mod. And yeah, even the pants, like everything just looks absolutely slick as usual. You know, I'm not surprised on how good the models look. <laughs> so, okay. So I guess let's start uh, putting the test by seeing whether we actually deal more damage if we have two Chigama. So, this is single Chigama, as you can see the damage is around 5.38 at best, I guess. If you're holding two... Well... Okay, I guess it doesn't change. Okay, new finding guys, it doesn't change whether you are holding two weapons or one weapon, it's the same. So, you know, visually it looks nice, but if you're actually, you know, trying to uh, have a proper PvP against someone, it's probably better to not have it on your right hand, so you know when you eat food, you don't accidentally use the moves. Because <laughs> it gets quite annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so here we got our first move, which would be Blood Demon Art, Flying Blood Sickles, or Kekijits, Tobi Chigama. Okay, so this one is the projectile move, which is actually really, really useful if you want to, you know, try to engage someone. Uh, from far away, so let's try it out. For example, from here. Are it? Did we? Okay, there we go. We're hitting him. Oh, that's actually quite a lot of damage. So, as you can see, it flies quite a long time. <laughs> and if I'm okay, okay. It even has like that swirling effect around you, so you can technically use it uh, in close range as well, like that. So very, very nice. And since it's a dummy, it doesn't really show. Oh, never. It does. Okay, so yeah, it does poison damage too, as you can see, uh, the dummy Tengen's taking some damage off right now, and it's actually quite long as well, isn't it? Damn, it's been like, what, 6-7 seconds already? Okay, yeah, that's quite a long period of time of poison, which would be pretty annoying if you're, you know, the one getting all this poison damage. So yeah, that's, that's pretty scary, you know, this move, flying blood sickles, Tobichigama, pretty scary stuff, but very, very nice as well, so yeah. Okay, let's move on to our second move, which is this Blood Demon Art Rampant Arc Rampage or Kekijits Bakko Choryo. So, this one is more of the 360 attack where you know you create this sphere around yourself, which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a lot in the just nutrient blades in general. So if we actually try it on the test dummy right here. Okay, 14 damage. Okay, so it's even stronger than the flying uh, blood sickles. Okay, interesting. So yeah, as you can see, 
Even if we were looking, or I mean facing our back, we can still hit it. And it also hits like two, three times, which is actually quite insane, because I'm pretty sure you can't parry all of the attacks, or maybe you can now that it's no cooldown, but I guess we'll see uh, later on when we actually have a fight. But okay, that's, that's pretty solid. All right, all right. Okay, last we got the most famous move, the one that gave a lot of people heart attacks in the anime, which is Blood Demon Art, Rotating Circular Slashes, Flying Blood Scythes, or in Japanese it would be Kekijits, Enzan Senkan Tobichigama. Okay, so this one, uh, we're actually gonna do an F5 because it has an animation. Take a look at this. <laughs> so you can see he raises his arms slightly shaking and then does like that spiral move that is coming out from both of his arms. So the thing about this is you'd have to most likely be horizontal because you are not gonna hit it if you're like, you know, facing your opponent directly. So yeah, just like that. But you can also move uh, your your uh, projectiles as you're shooting, so that's also quite interesting. Wait. Only slightly though, but yeah, that did the most damage I believe, like what, 17.42, whew, that's a lot of damage. So yeah, those were the three moves so far. There you go. Uh, so you have witnessed all of the three moves that Gyutaro has in this Demon Slayer mod, or I'm pretty sure this is all the moves he has done in the anime itself, so it, Gyutaro is fully complete. But now that, you know, we showcased it against the test dummy, let's quickly have a test against normal Demon Slayers, which by the way, have also gotten a revamped design right here. Is this me? Okay, okay, never mind. They're all the same, okay, okay. Let's try Flying Bloodsicles. Wait. Okay, they're getting poisoned, they're probably gonna die, but we can finish them off with the Rampant Arc. Yeah, Rampant Arc Rampage. Oh. <laughs> that's, a lot, that's a lot of R's. Why are you guys so tanky? What? Am I that weak? Oh, no, 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 it's because I'm not a demon, I can't hit them. What am I doing? Should I, should I, should I, should I drink blood? Oh, no, no, okay, it's fine, I'll, I'll drink blood later on anyway. Okay, then I guess we gotta use our creepers. I'm sorry, creepers, you know, but you're... You're my favorite testing subject. <laughs> Did I just kill one? Okay, let's use flying blood sickles. Okay, there we go. That, I think I think that's more like it. Okay, okay, okay. And then the second move, rampage, arc rampage. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. We can finish them off. And lastly, let's try using our rotating circle slashes. Oh my goodness, that's so sick. Okay. All right, you know what? I'll try, I'll become a demon, make myself Upper Moon 6, and then I'll have a quick fight against Uzi Tengen to, you know, fully showcase how his moves are going to work out. So, let's, I'll see you guys once I spawn him in. Okay, here we have arrived. We got Uzi as well as we got 16 villagers just in case something goes wrong. But yeah, we're ready to fight. We're Upper Moon 6 now. So yeah, as you can see, I mean, we don't have Daki. Nor the Kamaboko squad, so it's just a pure on one versus one. Let's have a fight. Let's go, bro. Okay, there we go. It's already showing because the Demon Slayers, as you can see, left click all they want now. Okay, let's use Hobichigama. Okay, he's, I think, used his fourth form. Oh, was it? Uh, taking Mus oh, I already forgot the moves. God damn it. <laughs> I, only know, I only remember Todoroki. Uh, Alright, he's coming in. Let's share some hits with him. Wait. Okay. Since Tengen's a human, he should be taking the poison damage from us, which is gonna be a huge advantage for us. Alright, let's see some more villagers. God damn, villager, you're like cover up the whole screen. Okay, that's very good. Knockback. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Tengen, you're, t you're a bit too flashy right now. I, I don't like that. Woo! Okay, let's back off. Eat some villagers. Okay, back off. Damn, my guy is just 
chasing me forever, which I mean, it makes sense. He wants to kill all the demons. There we go. We got Uzi Tengen. And I, I actually kind of feel a bit sad, like Gyutaro winning, but it's all right. I mean, you know, we did <laughs> Tengen justice in his own video. So yeah, that's how Gyutaro fares against one versus one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. You are always, you know, free to leave suggestions down in the comments. And yeah, uh, that's about it. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye, everyone. Adios. Johnny.